are watching KUTV Primetime News with Irene Mwangi. Thank you for staying with us. Now, tonight you're talking about societal matters. The social fabric is getting tainted by the day and the negative effects of that going to the young generation, which is the children, teenagers and the youth. Now, tonight you're having Minister Catherine Carrera, who is a teens and youth advocate. Many thanks indeed, uh, Ms. Car Catherine Carrera, for joining us tonight. Thank you very much for having me again. My passion in life is to make our children know before they wish they knew. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that I have come now that our children have just uh, come home for midterm. Some mm -hmm. are returning, some are returning tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to see how we can be able to face our future together. Mm -hmm. As you have said, it is true. There are a lot of challenges that are facing the teenagers, the youth, humanity. Mm -hmm. And even Corona has made it very hard for us. All right. But you're going to make it. All right. Yes. Now, tonight we're talking about um, rejecting childhood rejection. Um, depending on how you say it. Now, let's start off from matters of parental rejection. Some have sort of intimated that parental rejection is the rejection at birth, but even in the family setup, there is rejection. Can you tell us what is parental rejection? Uh, rejection, by the way, parental rejection may even start way before somebody is born. Mm. A lady may conceive and they don't like the baby because of the circumstances they got the baby with. Because like now we know there's a lot of defilement, where even fathers are defiling their own daughters. Mm -hmm. However, that should not negate anybody to, to reject the other. But we know fact on the ground is that people are being rejected. A parent is a giver of life. Mm -hmm. And a giver of life does not end by giving the life. Mm -hmm. You take care of that life. Mm -hmm. That is why God takes care of us. Mm -hmm. A parent is one who nurtures. So by the time we withdraw love and warmth and even comfort and re reprimand from our children, we are rejecting them. Mm -hmm. And rejection is not always very negative. Unfortunately, rejection can make one do things that are going to hurt them more and cause them to be rejected more. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now, since you've touched on that, let's look at what are some of the effects or some of the um, ways that we can um, a child can manifest that he or she is receiving rejection at home or either at school. Um, what are the sort of manifestation in terms of character uh, for a child or uh, a teenager? Thank you. At a very early age, when a child is facing rejection, mm -hmm. they will become a super aggressive on the negative side, where they are a lot. They have anger. They are also express a lot of sadness. And they don't want to play games with other children because they are already hurting. Mm -hmm. And you know, somebody says that hurting people hurt others. Mm -hmm. So we see them hurting others. Mm -hmm. However, what we need to do is know that even grown-ups and even teenagers and our youth can have an imaginary way that I'm rejected. Rejection, I have said, is not always negative. Like in life, everything has another side. Mm -hmm. What you do with that rejection will determine how well you can come out of that rejection. Let me say this. Use the rejection that has been thrown to you to give you a new direction mm -hmm. and a positive direction in life. All right. Now, you have talked about uh, parental rejection. Now let's uh, focus in terms of uh, peer rejection. Um, how do teens and especially teenagers, how do they handle uh, peer rejection back at school? Good. By the way, you know, a teenager will do anything to, to fit in. But I want to throw a caution there. Mm -hmm. We were not created to fit in. We are created to be outstanding. Mm -hmm. And let me tell our child, children, their boys and the girls, your peers may be rejecting you because you are wired for greatness. So what you need to do is turn that reje rejection into a positive direction. And the easiest way to do is understand your strength. All right. Then work on those strengths so well. And then identify what you're passionate about. Lead yourself up with your passion. Grow it so well until those people that rejected you will come and look and say, Hiya. Are you going to hire me? Mm -hmm. So that way you turn the rejection to work for you, not against you. Right. Unfortunately, 
Most of us look at rejection only on the negative side. And when you look at it on the negative side, it propels you to do negative things like going into alcohol, into drugs, you are messing yourself and you become more worse. Right. So a teenager out there, a youth that out there that is being rejected and even adults, even with that are married, mm -hmm. what you need to do is know how to reject rejection in a rejected manner. Okay. You reject it, do not own it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now let's look into the effects of um, childhood rejection and even adult rejection. We have seen cases of um, young um, teenagers killing their grandmas, killing their, uh, stabbing their parents. Um, we have seen even cases of adults. Uh, what we're seeing in the country, especially during this time of COVID-19 pandemic, people killing their partners. Could that be a side effect of rejection from a childhood stage? Let me bring some uh, spiritual matter there. Mm -hmm. Irene, I always imagine if there was a water group for people that have faced rejection, mm -hmm. Jesus would be the super administrator. Mm -hmm. What I want to tell you is do not wear rejection as a garment. Do not let that rejection throw you into the dungeon of hurting others. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is speak out and there will always be somebody that you can compare notes with. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when you keep quiet with it, it's going to eat you from inside mm -hmm. and that eating you from inside when you get a right moment you're going to do wrong. Mm -hmm. Killing anybody, killing anybody, sorry does not solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Human beings, the word of God which I have tonight, mm -hmm. tells me that human beings are created in the image of God mm -hmm. and whoever kills one shall be killed by another. So do not let rejection make you into a murderer. As I said earlier, what you need to do is seek positive direction out of what you're going through, mm -hmm. then lift yourself up with passion mm -hmm. and let them come. Let me say now, also rejection can push people into depression. Yeah. Uh, do not keep quiet with it. I have said do not wear it on. I have said Jesus suffered rejection until I call him the super administrator of a WhatsApp group for those that I rejected. What you need to do, speak out, use your voice mm -hmm. to call others into it so that out of the mess that you have found yourself in, you can create a message of hope. Mm -hmm. And the word of God tells me, and hope does not disappoint. Please remember, mm -hmm. I have said rejection is not always negative. Mm -hmm. They could be rejecting you because you are wired okay. for greatness. Okay. Now, um, when we talk about that, um, when we look into even um, teenagers, there are some who have been raised, say, by a single mother. Others have been um, having an absentee father or mother. Now, when you look into single mothers, um, people who have had issues or traumas that comes with rejection um, at a very um, early age, they have um, people who s call them narcissistic either mothers. Mm -hmm. So from a very early age, as young as five years, when they started to realize themselves, maybe their mothers were drunkards. Um, they never had, a, even though they had a mother, they never had a present mom. And therefore that um, affected them mentally. And therefore the question is, where do they find um, support? Because sometimes family is never there for them due to one issue or another. They never know who outside the family circle they can trust. What will be their first step to finding an, a, a confident out of family? In life, we have three support system. Support number one is people. And as Irene has said, your mother may not be the person to go to, but I will tell you who else you can go to. Mm -hmm. The other one is time and money. Mm -hmm. Assuming you don't have people and you not have money, you have time. So out of this time, you're going to use a small word in English that is called ask. Okay. A, we are going to admit that we are suffering rejection. As we are going to seek out how to come out of rejection. K, knowledge on how we can better ourselves even when mama is a drunkard. Then also, we must make sure that we do not limit ourselves to our families. Right. Nowadays, we have the church, we have the temple, we have the mosque. Mm -hmm. Can we go out there and find out who else 
can help us. Mm -hmm. And as we go out to find out who else can help us, let me throw a question there, more so to us ladies. And uh, the English word for ladies is female. Mm -hmm. As I talk to every female, inside female we see male. So as I talk to a female, I'm also addressing the male. Mm -hmm. As a female, as when you face rejection, when you go out there seeking for help, looking for somebody to share your pain with, please make sure you don't go and share with the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. I normally say, as a lady, as a woman, as a girl, when you go to share your challenges with a male, it's like taking a shelter in the mouth of the crocodile. At the end of the day, you'll be chewed up. Mm -hmm. So you must come out now and speak out to people that are like-minded. And for the children that are only five years, how can they speak out mm -hmm. in that village where they are, in the community where they live, that there is a child worker. And the school teacher, you are a ladder. A ladder is for lifting people up. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as these children come, can you see them and find out what could be ailing them mm -hmm. so that you can help them to talk out, so that you can be the voice to the voiceless. All right. Yes. Now, when you're talking about um, how some end up dealing with rejection, mm -hmm. we're having girls getting into early marriage. Maybe they say, I'm fed <laughs> up with staying at home. Um, as soon as I, I am 18 years, uh, I will um, get married to the next available boyfriend around my surrounding. There are others who get into the prostitution. They are mm -hmm. seeing um, their counterparts having fine dresses and high heels and stilettos in this um, world, and they want to engage with that. For men, it's drug and abuse. They have been told, you want to relieve stress? How about you take um, a little alcohol in there to sort of relieve it? What will be your advice for people who have seen this shortcut as an avenue of dealing with the rejection that has created trauma even in their adult lives? Thank you, Irene. Mm -hmm. By the way, marrying at 18, you're very, very immature at 18. Human brains do not mature until you are 24. And marriage is not a cure of rejection. If you walk into marriage with a baggage, that baggage will throw you out of the marriage. Let me repeat that. Mm -hmm. If you walk yourself into a marriage with baggage, that baggage is going to throw you out of the marriage. So what you need to do is first address the rejection, get yourself stability in life, emotionally, physically and also financially because unfortunately girls are thinking that men are going to provide for them men do not want anybody who sits there and says nipe 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 you must be able to start for yourself and the way you can start for yourself is when you're emotionally stable physically stable, and even your pocket can have a cushion for you. Mm -hmm. Then we say that some of them go into prostitute. And I say, unfortunately, rejection makes us do things that are going to make us more hurting and more rejected. So you must choose uh, the next step in life as you go through rejection with this notion in mind that your safety is number one. Even as you seek help, make sure that your safety is number one. Otherwise, you're going to hurt more and taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And I normally say safety is as easy as always be careful. Mm -hmm. Then for the men, even for the women, again, we see them taking alcohol and taking drugs. That will only give you a compounded problem. It will not help you. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is face it squarely in life. Mm -hmm. And let me again take you to the word of God that I'm holding now. There was a young man called Jephitha. He was rejected by his siblings because Jephitha's mother was a prostitute. Some of us are rejected because of circumstances beyond ourselves. But we can turn that rejection to favor us. We can create a new direction and we can bring that into a spotlight to show others the way. Mm -hmm. Do not let rejection hurt you in a rejected way. Know how to reject rejection in a rejected manner. All right. What are some uh, of the challenges or signs, uh, I beg your pardon, what are some of the signs that 
a teenager or an adult can get to know that they could be suffering from the um, side effects of rejection. Why I'm asking this is because uh, what we see in relationships right now, we are having people who are called the control freaks. Mm -hmm. um, you'll hear a girl complaining that he never wants to see me move around and perhaps the person could be uh, facing issues of trauma that come with rejection at an early, early stage. So in this area, we're talking about mental health and issues surrounding that. What can be the identifiers of signs of rejection and what can we do to find counseling on the same? Uh, let me answer it from the teenagers, mm -hmm. because the preteens and the lower ones, mommy, you may have to have what I call eyes that are hearing. Mm -hmm. For teenagers, they could also be imagining that they have been rejected. They imagine just because mommy has told them not to go for that bash, they think that is rejection. Teenager, what I want to tell you is mommy is looking to protect you. And mommy wants to connect with you. Mommy has to correct you so that we can be able to cooperate together in life. Therefore, do not go out there and confuse the mood swing of growing up. <laughs> you know, as we grow up and also the hormones, they are telling us negative things. The hormones now are talking. So make sure that you separate your hormonal imbalance with thinking that you're rejected. However, a, a rejected child may be super sad all the way may be super in a aggressiveness in the negative way and they could also be suicidal what we need to do we should not ignore any hint of a child saying i can kill myself right. and let me say now that i've talked about suicide mm -hmm. suicide irene i call it a horrible terrible permanent solution to a temporary problem. Nobody should kill themselves because of anything that has happened to them. As we talk about rejection today, remember even Jesus, the son of God, was rejected. What you do with your rejection will determine how strong you're going to come out of rejection. And I think, Irene, all of us have faced rejection in one way yes, or the other. Yeah. Even today, some of us are experiencing rejection because all of us are gifted, but gifted differently. People reject you because you look to be more gifted than them. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is know how to manage right. the rejection so that it doesn't affect your mental wellness. All right. Now, um, when you talk about um, handling rejection, it is two way. Even if we, uh, even as we are advising the teens and the youth, uh, parents have a responsibility um, to do on their end. As you've mentioned when we started the interview, rejection starts um, even after conception. So, what will be the roles and the responsibilities of parents to ensure that they not they do not create a loophole of creating a generation that feel they are rejected and neglected during their upbringing? Apparent what we need to appreciate that our children are all different. And here I have my heart is out. Your children are like these fingers. The fingers are in the same heart, but all of them have different sizes, different heights, but they are all very helpful. So the first thing that we need to do to help our children is avoid comparison. Mm -hmm. Comparison is a thief of joy. So we need to be able to take a child as an individual and work with them at that level of themselves. However, we even as we work with them at that level of being different, we must be very careful with our words. What I want to throw out today is we must water our children with our words. We must clean them with, the, with our words. We tell them good words. But again, we must be able to hammer, to harmonize. We must be able to bring in discipline mm -hmm. so that our children do not think when we are disciplining them, we are rejecting them sure. because there's a place for discipline and a place for punishment. Mm -hmm. Punishment comes when we are not working discipline. So as long as our children are working discipline, can we now do the next thing? Mm -hmm. Rebuke them in love All right. because love without rebuke is an abuse. Right. So we must make sure that we love them so that we can be able to rebuke them closely to Monta well. All right. Now, Minister Catherine, you finalized finalize because of time. Uh -huh. um, the children are going back to school after the midterm break. There are some who have already gone back to school. There are those who are still back at home. But perhaps what could be your message to them at a time where the society is facing pressure 
even as at this time where we are uh, battling the pandemic and things seem to be going haywire um, in different parts of the country. We are parenting in very challenging times where our children are telling each other Mava Johnny Farah. <laughs> what I want to tell every teenager there that is listening to me, there is power in purity, stay pure. Then as you go back to school tomorrow, please go with a focused mind. Last time I was here, I told you what focus starts for. Go with a focused mind so that you can be able to concentrate, so that you can execute what you have gone to do in school. Mm -hmm. And between now and when you, when you go back to school, please do not allow a fool to kiss you All right. or even a kiss to fool you. Stay focused, then you shall get to your destiny. Thank you. All right, many thanks, uh, Minister Carrera, for your time and giving us your perspective and advice to the teens and youth back at home. All right, now that has been Minister Catherine Carrera, a teens uh, coach and youth advocate, of course, giving us a perspective uh, concerning raising our children and rejecting rejection um, even from an early stage. She says, don't allow a kiss to fool you. <laughs> Thanks for your time during this particular interview. We are taking a short break. We'll be back with more. You stay tuned. <laughs>